Look at this. So out of that Pittsburgh Steelers win in Cincinnati, some important news. Um, defensive player of the year last year, T.J. Watt, suffered a torn pectoral muscle. He's going to get second and third medical opinions um, because they're not sure where the location of that tear is, and that matters. It means he will either miss six weeks, or if he undergoes surgery, he would miss uh, the entire season. And, Jeff, that's a huge blow. And then keep in mind, Browns play the Jets, then they play the Steelers on Thursday. What? Not going to be there. Najee Harris also had to leave the game. He left in a boot. So uh, Steelers got a win, uh, but Watt makes that a very different defense. Well, there's no question about it. You're talking about the you know uh, reigning defensive player of the year in the NFL. And look, you know, injuries aside, you, you never want to see this happen. But you also understand what it can do, you know, for a team. You know, the Browns, that Steelers game, I didn't think the Steelers would be that great anywhere. I, I thought the Steelers were going to be contingent about what their defense can do. Um, what the question is going to be, even if he avoids the season ending surgery, it's how long before you can start going to put a little strain on there because you you have to get some muscle mass back. And that's going to be the difficulty if TJ Watt goes the route where he doesn't have surgery. So it could even be the fact that where maybe TJ Watt goes through the rest of the season, but I doubt he's going to be, you know, a fraction or percentage of, you know, what we're used to in TJ Watt and God bless him for it. Cause I'm sure he will, if he's capable, he will sacrifice himself for the good of the team. It's just the type of guy he is. Um, but you know, if you're a Browns fan, yeah, you, you had the ultimate, you know, things work out in your favor. You know, the, the Steelers are going to be out with without one of their superstars for this foreseeable future, if not the entire season. But in the same respect, they actually stole one in Cincinnati, Cincinnati against the Bengals. So, you know, for the Browns, it was a good day all around. Um, you know, I'm sure, you know, Jacoby Brissett's going to be thrilled. He doesn't have to see T.J. Watt in week three because he certainly doesn't have the athleticism to run with him. Um, great player, though, and it certainly will not be the end of the T.J. Watt story.